did with Kim Case through the Loaded Envelopes Galore and More page. And this was a loaded fall basket. So here's my box. I'm just going to set it to the side. Take the paper off. Here. Whoops. Let's see. Just a little note. And I love her. Here's her card. Creative Crafticality. And there's all her information. So I'll be sure to put that in the description box as well. And then she sent this adorable little card. I think we used the same paper pad. Okay, and look at her spoon. We had to do an altered spoon. And I thought this was so clever. Isn't that neat? She made a little album out of that. That's adorable. So there's the spoon. And I could not find a spoon, so I had to use a wooden, um, I don't know if it would be like a spatula type thing. Because I could not find a wooden spoon. Which I think is crazy, but I guess with the holidays. Oh, and mug, mug treats. Cool. I'm dieting, so I'll give this to my hubby. I'm sure he will love it. So, so neat. And I put, um, I bought like a local um, packaged good. We had to have a packaged um, good. So, um, I used a Taze Valley fudge mix, but I had to take it out of the box because it was taking so much room in my box. And I was trying to get everything in a medium flat rate. And here she sent some lovely embellishments. And then I'm not going to open those. I'll just hold it up. Some rosettes. Aren't those pretty? And it looks like some tight. Well, I hate to open it because she's got it all tied really pretty. I don't want everybody to see them. Ah. Let's see. Let me get it open. There we go. Oh, and these are our three note cards and envelopes. I forgot we had to do that for a second. So here are her little cards. Really cute. I love those. I love the little fox. Maybe we didn't use the same paper pad. I thought we did. I thought that, I guess the card is from the one paper pad. Very cute. Thank you so much. I'll be using those for sure. And look at the little happy fall. That is so cute. I'll put that in my display on my buffet. And we were supposed to include... Um, oh, those are in the basket. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let's see here. They are tucked in the basket. And something fell out in the box. So it looks like she has gifted me some die cuts, I think. Let's see here. With some different shaped leaves. Really pretty. I like the die, and it has a really good um, impression. It looks like she went over it with some ink as well to make it stand out. So really pretty. That's one thing I do miss where I use my Cricut so much is I miss the embossing that it gives. And we were supposed to include um, some little goodies from the Dollar Tree or um, that was a suggestion. And I did two pot holders. My video, I went to upload it and it something's wrong with it. So I wasn't able to share what I created for her. So... Um, here are the lovely pot holders. Can never have too many pot holders. If you're like me, I burn them. Oh, let's see. She's got a, let's see, I'll show it to you like that. Isn't that adorable? I love that little pumpkin holder. Or pumpkin holder. Pumpkin cookie cutter. Let me get it off the handle here so it won't tear it up. Maybe I can get it open. Ugh. Goodness, I'm going to have to snip that or it's going to tear up. I'm afraid it's going to mess up my handle. There we go. And that's cute how she tied the twine and some ribbon on the handle. See? Very cute. Oh, it's a flower. Okay, I see now. And then there's a bow on this side. Okay, there we go. It's very pretty. And she did fall on the back. Really like that. So pretty. And let's see here. Open this up. Ah. Oh, how 
cute. I have not seen this anywhere, but I'm trying to see where. I'm not sure where it's. Oh, it's from Walmart. I would have never guessed that. It is so cute. And then she has also stuck oh little um cookie cutters. How cute. I've never seen these before, but I'm not a big shopper, so that can be part of it. And these look like they're from Michaels. These are so cute. And it looks like she gave me some washi, so thank you very much. I'll probably have this on my craft desk to put stuff down in it. I'm always sticking stuff in cups. It's so pretty, though. I love that. Thank you so much. And let's see here. Just trying to remember what we were supposed to include, everything we were supposed to include in it. Oh, and some more little ephemera. Oops, it's sticking in there. I love the fox. I can't, I can't get the rest of it out of there. There we go. There we go. So, so she stamped and embossed a pumpkin, so thank you. And I love the fox. Those pretty. I'm trying to see if they light. There we go. Aren't those gorgeous? And the little hat. And it looks like some cut aparts, maybe. Very cute. And then some little leaf punches punch or die cut and there's more in there. I just can't quite get a hold of it. There we go. There. Okay. And another one of the hats and then another pumpkin. So thank you very much. Oh, and some baking cups. Thank you very much. It's really pretty. And some bows and another little tiny rose bet. Those are really hard to make when they're that little. Very nice. Thank you. Ooh, and some more die cuts. She was busy, busy. Ooh, I really like that. Um, shape. And some more leaves. And another cut apart. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. And then we had to do two um, recipe cards. So she made hers, made it really sturdy. Ooh, English apple pie, that looks really good. Yummy, 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 yummy. And sweet potato casserole. Let's see, this looks really similar to the one I use, and that, or except for the topping. Or I'm trying to think, but yummy. Well, anything's good with you know pecans and brown sugar on top of it. So. <laughs> So thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to definitely put these in my um, recipe box. And then she also sent me, I think, a paper. So thank you so much. So pretty. Okay. And then she's also made a paper clip. Thank you. I love that um, leaf. And then some more cut apart. So thank you so much. And now we can get a really good look at the basket. So there's the inside. And this is an SVG file from SVG Cuts, I think, because I did the same one. And I really liked it. You could use it, you know, for anything. And hers is really good and sturdy. It, I bet she's even layered it some more, I bet. But I love how she put the fox on there. I did not even think of that. It's so pretty. Beautiful. I love the jute twine flower. I don't know if she made that or not. But I love it. It's really pretty. Very nice. So thank you so much for swapping with me, Kim. And I will leave a link to her channel in the description box below.